Hey everyone, Wicked Jody here. Time for another Build My Base, Raid My Base series. Um, today we are building Skull Valley. So um, I, I really enjoyed the format from uh, Venus. Um, also let us know in the comments if you do as well um, and we'll, we'll kind of continue. Um, but for this series we'll kind of continue that trend of like having a, a more condensed build section um, and then trying to fit in raids like in the same episode. I think it gives like better continuity but yeah feel free to leave comments to let you know let us know your thoughts. So um, with that we'll get straight into the build cycle um, and then we'll kind of review at the end what we've come up with so stay tuned.
Okay, so we are back. So I, I don't know how you kind of describe this. I'll need to mark tombs actually, by the way, but um, let, let's kind of get into this. So um, this is really Skull Valley. I, I think I've done a good job at um, I, it wasn't intentional the way this build kind of got set up, but um, we we did kind of make a skull valley, so let, let's dive into it. Um, so this is the entrance. Um, we have double corrosive here, um, spontaneous, so you'll be getting rain of acid, um, acid puddles all the way up here. Um, with later prestiges, we'll increase this to four. Um, so I've already made um, gaps for, for the the two extra corrosives. Um, so we'll kind of come up here, um, and then you kind of <laughs> you kind of walk into the main room. So you can already like as you're um, getting into the room, you meet these five sentries. Um, there will be seven, so there's one that I didn't quite have enough capacity, but these will work too. Um, the way these work is because of their angle, they'll like shoot straight down. <laughs> so um, they, they tend to don't bounce very much, they'll just kind of shoot straight down in a straight line. Um, these edge ones bounce a little bit more, so I've put um, I think it's over amplifiers the the name so it just allows extra bounces but the same deal goes like they'll they'll go all the way to entrance um, so this is already quite a big threat you only have three heavy bolts demo cannon won't do anything against these so this is already quite a big threat as you keep stepping through um, we've got one two and three flame traps so it just stops you just kind of camping here, not that you probably will, but it kind of just blocks your your exit. Um, and these have the, the extended mod, and um, I'm trying out this firestorm just to kind of delay that exit of the um, base. Um, next, um, the, the main star of the show are these um, cannonbacks. I, I believe there's 15, so one, two, three, four, five, so five rows of three. Um, they'll just be raining bombs on you. Um, so what's going to happen is as you're entering, these guys will engage and start lobbing bombs. If you back back, um, one, you've got the acid puddles to deal with, two, um, as you're running back, these bombs, um, just because of the way they've been positioned, um, they'll land all the way down here. So if you're kind of halfway up, um, you'll get taken out. So that's how that works. Um, and then what else? Next we've got the um, enforcers. So there's five enforcers. Um, they've just got... Um, armor and the optical implant um, just to give better range um, and these guys I think are the same yeah just so they, they can see you at entrance um, and that's most of the base as you can see we've got this little valley going on the sides um, the reason I did that was as these cannonbacks are raining bombs on you the bombs will kind of like naturally go down towards the middle. So if you're trying to evade and you go into the middle, they're, they're just going to bomb you. Same deal goes here. So if you manage to dodge all this and, and you dodge the enforcer fire, if you keep running down, what's going to happen is these guys are going to lob bombs down. And then as you get to about here, those bombs are going to explode and take you out. Um, so that that's that. Um, next, we've got. Oh, I, I do need to put another piston here, but oh no, I do actually need to put flames here. Let, let's just put the flame trap in because um, that is actually important. Okay, let's just quickly. 
quickly grab some capacity. Um, let's see. Can we take this one? Yeah, a lot of this base is um, <laughs> trying to grab capacity. Um, okay, I just need enough for a, a flame trap at the very least with the extend. It doesn't need firestorm, I don't think. Maybe. Um, and we don't have enough for uh, another. That, that's fine. We'll, we'll add that later prestige. Um, one thing I didn't talk about is um, you can kind of see the setup here. It's like in a triangle. As you take these guards out, maybe you save from, from here. You might have a crossbow or something shooting these guys down. Um, what, what's going to happen is they're going to drop down here and into this little spot. Um, I don't quite have enough capacity to build this out, but eventually with later prestiges, um, this will become an ammo sink. Um, same goes for this. So we've got 15 guards on this side, and then those guards all funnel into this little um, sink. Um, and then that, that, they, they all kind of drop in here, so I think it's four deep. Um, and then I've insulated on the outside as well, so the main sink is complete, but um, these side sinks I'll, I'll add at later points. Um, so that's that. Let's see if we can just... Don't have enough. Okay, I'll leave it out. That's fine. Okay, and then once you come down here and take this flame trap out, again, likely we'll need to spend more capacity there to beef that up, but um, yeah, that's gem map there. And that, that's basically all the base. Um, so um, yeah, the, the only things we want to do is just add some of these little side traps, actually. What I might do, I'll take that out and I'll put in a piston here. Um, and do we have enough for blockade? Okay, one blockade, two blockade, three blockade? Yeah, sweet. Um, ideally, I'd also want this unstable, but three blockades pretty good too so cool so that that's the base um so let's um now jump in some replays so stay tuned okay first up we have bob kind of scoping out. He does have shield. Um, I'm interested to see how melee does against this Sounds easy enough, right? 
slowed down. Because this is where the base really punishes you. see that um, new patch change with the flames um, kicking in there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Um, shield bubble, nice. I like it. And manages to get out safely, so nice job there, Bob. Okay, on to the next replay. Okay, next up we've got Fish Tank X. Let's see what he does here. Uh, Here comes the bombs. There we go. That's a good showcase of um, what to expect. Okay, he's switching up to shield. Okay. Yes, so you can shield the um, the bomb hit. Okay, it's just kind of timing it out. Okay. Here comes the bombs. Okay, this time the bombs didn't reach. Takes out. Flames. I really need to think about how we can make that more threatening. Uh, I'm not sure at the moment. Okay, there's the shield. Ooh. Almost taken out at the end there, so... Um, nice play there by Fish Tank X. Okay, on to the next replay. Okay, next up we've got Syncroxity and Kazia 14 Burn. Right, let's see how they do. Okay. 
Okay, maybe trying to snipe um, at the very end there. Um, that's a very long shot if they're trying to get for that cannon back. Okay. Here we go. Okay, uh, I think that's Kazia burns down. Like absolute chaos. <laughs> okay, it gets taken out by the enforcer there. Okay, round two. Okay, having a little peek. Kazia Pern just goes um, on without his buddy. Um, the sentry takes out. Um, man, so much is going on. Um, the sentry took out Syncroxity, um, and then um, unfortunately Kazia got taken out by uh, the Corrosive Keep. Okay, let's keep going. Round three. So you see, like, um, getting pushed back or, you, you know, like, forcing the player to engage backwards is just, yeah, exactly right, is you're just gonna get taken out there by either the sentry or the corrosive or the cannon back, like, three different threats. You're just gonna go straight in and try to go for it. Okay, CC. Oh man, that's, that's rough. Yep. Wait until we get four cubes going. Okay. I, I, I don't even know what round we're up to. Okay. Ooh, his buddy's not behind him though. Okay. Jumping in. Gotta watch those um those sentry beams. <coughs> okay. Going in for a bit of melee. Alright. Yeah. Interesting he's not using his range at all. Like maybe they realize um, it's an ammo sink? But then why bring the, the heavy boulder? Maybe just in case? It could also just be a, um, a melee main. And like just packs the, um, the heavy boulder just in case you need it. Okay, Syn Syncroxity is taking out these um, cannonbacks one by one. And what about Kazia? He's he's kind of hanging back and sniping. Okay, just these um, enforcers to go. They should be okay from this point, as long as they don't screw up. Okay. Nice, takes them out. Okay. I think that's all the immediate threats that I can see. Yep. So you can see there, at least two of them um, landed down there, so with later prestiges, there'll be another ammo sink. <clears throat> okay. Wow, look at that CC! <laughs> hilarious! Okay, onto flames. Um, he does have a... <clears throat> Apologies. 
he does have a um, heavy boulder, probably exactly for this reason. Um, Kazia gets taken out. Just gonna play it slow. Cool. And I think that's the last threat, so nice job to Syncroxity and Kazia burn. So as long as they're careful with the CC, um, they should be fine. Oh, there is a flame trap up though. Ooh. Okay, takes them out. Alright. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. You just gotta be a little careful. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. These CC keeps man, like, they're very strong. Okay, and both make it out alive, so nice job to Syncroxity and Kazia Burn. So that's the last of the, um, replays. Um, I'm pretty happy with how, um, Prestige 1 went. Um, I think with more corrosive cubes added and the two ammo sinks to add and there was something else I can't remember I'll, I'll have to maybe relook at the replays but we, we've got a few things that we want to spend the, that next capacity on so we'll, we'll try to go from there so um, with that, thanks everyone for watching. If you like this kind of content, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps us out, and we'll see you in the next one.